Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Desert Jet Center fights to be heard. Honeywell's business jet forecast projects 8,300 deliveries through 2027. True Blue Power introduces 2,000 watt high power inverter. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 12th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Desert Jet Center has been trying since 2015 to build a new facility at Jacqueline Cochran Regional Airport in Palm Springs, California, but has run into multiple delays and now believes the county is actively favoring a competing FBO in what is described as cronyism. Desert Jet Center signed a 35-year lease with the Riverside County on October 6, 2015. Almost immediately, the airport manager received a complaint from the competing FBO on the field saying that Desert Jet Center had to make an expensive improvement on the competitor's leasehold before they can begin construction on their own facility. The story of what is going on at the airport is detailed in multiple parts on the Desert Jet Center website. It is far too intricate and involved to try to summarize here, and they only tell their side of the story but we wanted to give you an opportunity to see their arguments. The company says the purpose of the site is to finally explain the reasons publicly why Desert Jet Center's construction has not been completed. ANN is investigating. Stay tuned. The business jet aviation industry is likely facing a modest pace for near-term orders due to an uncertain economic and political environment, along with a very competitive used aircraft market. Per the 26th Annual Global Business Aviation Outlook, released at NBAA by Honeywell. The Global Business Aviation Outlook forecasts up to 8,300 new business jet deliveries worth $249 billion from 2017 to 2027, down 2 to 3 percentage points from the 2016 10 year forecast. Declining used aircraft prices, continued low commodity prices, and economic and political uncertainties in many business jet markets remain as near-term concerns for new jet purchases, leading to a modest growth in 2018, said Ben Driggs, president of America's aftermarket Honeywell Aerospace. Honeywell expects deliveries of approximately 620 to 640 new jets in 2017, a decline of roughly 30 aircraft year over year. This pullback comes on the heels of a moderate decrease in 2016 and is largely due to slower order rates for mature airplane models in a transition to new models slated for late 2017 and 2018. Operators plan to make new jet purchases equivalent to about 19% of their fleets over the next five years as replacements or additions to their current fleet, a decrease of 8 percentage points compared with the 2016 survey results. After the break, True Blue Power introduces 2,000 watt high power inverter. The 2 inch MD93 digital clock and USB charger features intuitive operation with four modes local time, universal time, flight timer, and stopwatch. The dual USB charging port supplies 2.1 amps of power per port to personal electronic devices with a USB interface. Learn more at MCICO.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. Not all great product announcements out of NBAA 2017 are about great planes or exciting new avionics or power plants. Sometimes they're about cool little gadgets that allow today's aircraft to work better than ever. In this case, True Blue Power has added a 2000 watt inverter to its line of power solutions and raised the bar yet again. The new TI-2000 DC to AC inverter provides wall outlet power to cabin and galley equipment, 
including personal electronic devices, entertainment and gaming systems, microwave ovens, and coffee makers. It is ideal for VIP cabin configurations, special missions, and emergency medical equipment. The 2001 inverter is smaller, more efficient, and weighs only 7.7 pounds, which makes it all of 50% lighter than the competing units. FAA TSO EOSA ETSO certified, RTCA DO 160G qualified. The TI-2000 is manufactured in an AS9100C certified facility and designed with input transient, overload, and short circuit protection up to 150% of the rated load. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. This week, we had the pleasure of acknowledging a member of our Airborne Partnership Initiative that literally needs no introduction, except for three letters. EAA. The Experimental Aircraft Association was founded by Paul H. Poborezny in 1953 with a vision of establishing and promoting a strong community for the furtherance of home building aircraft. Thousands of home built airplanes fill the skies in large part because of the EAA and what it has done for those who desire the rewarding experience of building and flying their own aircraft. However, the EAA has expanded far beyond the goals of its origin. It now represents hundreds of thousands of aviation-minded people who fly for recreation and enjoyment. And of course, the annual EAA convention known as EAA Air Venture Oshkosh is a world-renowned aviation event. After these messages, Airbus Helicopters delivers 400th UH-72A Lakota. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Progressive Aerodyne's Sea Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $160,000. Visit CRA.com for more details. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Airbus Helicopters has delivered the U.S. Army's 400th UH-72A Lakota helicopter, fulfilling its contract requirements to date by delivering every aircraft on time and on budget. The UH-72A is one of the key helicopter models the Army will operate for the foreseeable future. Army and Army National Guard units operate the Lakota in a variety of missions. Whipair has rolled out oil bath wheels on new production Whipline 8750 amphibious floats, eliminating the need for repeated greasing. The design allows the main gear wheel bearings to be continuously lubricated using SAE 15W50 motor oil, increasing the life of the bearings. Oil bath wheels are standard on Whipline 8750 floats, serial number 87177 and up. NBAA President and CEO Ed Boland joined Las Vegas area officials this week in announcing a $10,000 donation to the Las Vegas Victims Fund in support of those affected by the horrific events of October 1st. Boland announced the donation during a press conference at Henderson Executive Airport. Representing Clark County was Airport Chief Marketing Officer Chris Jones, and representing the county's business community was John Schreiber. Senior Director of Business Sales for the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Airtex and Wilson Air Center have unveiled FBO Link, 
a new customer capability of digital communications between the airplane and fixed base operators' customer service representatives. As the beta launch customer, Wilson Air is initiating FBO Link at all four of its locations in Memphis and Chattanooga, Tennessee, Charlotte, North Carolina, and William P. Hobby Airport in Houston, Texas. GE Aviation successfully completed testing a T-901 GE-900 turboshaft engine prototype in support of the United States Army's improved turbine engine program. The company-funded test engine exceeded ITEP performance requirements, proving that GE T-901 engine is ready for the ITEP engineering and manufacturing development phase. The T-901 engine tests were conducted over the span of six months. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The NTSB is now offering public details of the alleged collision between a hobby drone and a U.S. Army Black Hawk, including the fact that the drone pilot has been located. The NTSB is investigating the September 21st collision between a civilian drone and an Army UH-60 helicopter east of Staten Island, New York. At approximately 7.20 p.m. September 21st, the drone or unmanned aerial vehicle and the helicopter collided. The Army helicopter sustained damage to its main rotor blade, window frame, and transmission deck. A motor and arm from a small drone identified as a DJI Phantom 4 were recovered from the helicopter. The NTSB was notified of the incident September 22nd and began its investigation that day. In the following days, investigators were able to identify and subsequently interview the drone operator. The drone operator also provided flight data logs for the incident flight. The NTSB is investigating the incident because the drone was a civilian aircraft. DJI and the Federal Aviation Administration are participating in the investigation. The Army is conducting a mishap investigation. The NTSB's investigation is ongoing, and investigators are reviewing air traffic control radar data, flight data from the helicopter, the flight data logs provided by the drone operator, and FAA airspace and temporary flight restriction documents. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.